Hello, my name is Max Drake. I'd like to talk about this personal finance app that I'm developing. Um, I've got uh, an overall page that looks, it's basically a dashboard on where you are and where you're at. I've got a spent page, which is, I've got at the front, just because it's the one I'm using straight away nearly all the time. So at the moment, I've still got to put in the date and, uh, uh, and uh, that's another interesting thing. I'd like to actually just put it in as dots um, into the columns because on my mobile phone, when it actually comes up with a keyboard, the slash isn't on the front um, in with the, uh, the letters. So it's a bit frustrating. Um, anyway, I do 54 and then I can choose uh, the payee and uh, the payment method is cash and the account so no account oh no i would have taken that cash out of that account and is it billable and we just say no it's not billable to the company and uh bought a tree and the category um i will put under house um uh, and then we add that and it comes through and if i search by five dot what did I do? 13 there, it comes through at that point in time. Here's just a logo that I have got through. If you see here again, I'm using a longer descriptor. If I just use something like date or amount, it's not telling me that much information. So I've done a concatenation um, to try and get more information right at the front of that to tell me what the story is actually happening on those so that I can see where my spending's done and I can see who I spent it to. You can see that it hasn't occurred on these later ones and I'll talk about that shortly. Again, I've got the main app which actually has the overview of that and um, one of the things which is hidden on this front end here is a thing which I've got um, and I just jumped straight into the sheet for that uh, which is forecasting and I'm trying to use this as a forecasting app previously I've just actually had a Google form that just goes and fills out a spreadsheet based on my spend now that I've got some of my spend information I can actually start forecasting what I'm expecting to be spending on certain amounts so from those previous sheets I want to go through here so the Google what I actually had before was a very basic form that would put information on my spends. With the Glide app now, I can get a heads up. I've got a dashboard saying where my spends are actually occurring. I can see where my spends are and go and look on those. And I can see my income here and I can see my savings. Now, the savings are important from the point of view of if you've actually got certain things to do, my electricity I pay weekly so I can actually see that I've got a budget that I've allocated for these ones and has that been spent. And then is it due this month? Yes, it is. But I've got things like house insurance, which I only pay once a year, but it's a big bill. So I actually want to save each month for that. So I'm not paying for it. So is it due this month? No, it's not due this month. Am I going to pay for it this month? No. But, um, and have I paid for it? No, but have I saved for it? So I've got a button here to say, have I allocated savings for those things? So this is the strategy that I've got, is these are generally the bills that I've actually got coming in, and food is a, seems to be a major item that I actually have on a regular basis, and, uh, uh, well, food, alcohol, and dog. <laughs> and... Um, this month I've actually got a big bill uh, which is rates so I've got a I haven't planned for that so it's just going to be a big bang but in the future I can actually start allowing and putting money away and I can actually say have I saved for those things so what um, in the glide app here um, on the main page I can go into the subcategories that I've got and that's why if you look on this sheet at the beginning it's got this title through here and these children through here. This is based on marks, categories and subcategories to actually filter things down by a hierarchy. So I want all of these different categories, apart from the last two there, as you know, they're not in there because they don't pertain to this sheet because this is what I'm spending on. Um, I may actually have to put savings on there. I'll think about that. Um, uh, but it's really spends this one here. I'd, I'd need to manage that another way. Um, so in here, 
I can say, uh, have I gone and spent this? So is it due this month? It is due this month, and have I paid for it? Well, actually, it's week two now, so yes, I have actually paid for that. So the idea is that in my overview, I can actually say, am I tracking my spend based upon my forecast expenses? So if I'm spending a lot more, am I spending on some other things? And one of the things in this that I've got at the bottom is bits that I've got. Maybe you've got coffees that you, you allow for, that you spend for the coffees. Maybe you bunch that with your food and stuff like that. Maybe you go out and buy things, just a bit of shopping or clothes or something there. You would allow for those sorts of things through a year. So those are the sort of odd ones that you come through. And once you actually collate that information and you capture the information, you can then feed it back um, into your expenses because you know that you're going to be allowing for those things. And then you've actually allowed for those spending areas. So if you've actually got a blown budget, this is a way of actually managing your budget. Um, so the idea is that you will actually have a dashboard telling you what you've actually allocated and where it's allocated. Maybe there's too many categories and maybe they're a little bit too extensive. Um, that could be simplified down. Maybe I could group some of these things like the house and the kitchen. These are really like little nicky nacky things that I actually have on here. Oh, oh, I don't actually have anything for kitchens. I don't actually have any. I am spending items on kitchens. So this is one of the things where I'm buying uh, more cooking tools or things like that. But maybe I should be. I'm not planning for them, but I am actually spending for them. So that's one of the ones that I've got to start suddenly saying, well, we've got to manage that in a certain way and identify how that one's occurring. So... Um, uh, I've got a whole list of choices that I've gone through. So here's my income ones, here's my spend ones, here's my payment methods, here's my accounts, here's my billing, here's my categories, here's my um, uh, are things due or not due and have they been paid or not paid and it's basically a yes no column. So I'm trying to use those. One of the things in the sheets that um, uh, I've got certain codes coming through that are supposed to be bringing extra information through. They're not working at the moment. That'll be the next part that I work on. But this is the overall idea of how the app works. I just want to get it on to... Uh, for others to see because I'm sure they may have better or more elegant solutions than the ones I have at the moment and I'd like to see a tool like this being developed because I can see it as being a very handy tool that people can um, tailor to their own specific needs. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, can you do a thumbs up down there? Thank you very much indeed.